to our part two of our tie and dye. This is going to show you after it's been set for six to eight hours. This is not the shirt you did. This is a. This is the first time we did this. So I'm going to show you how it looks now. Next step. So. So you get. We put ours in bags. But what you do. You take it out the bag. And then you will wash it out. And when you wash it out, you will cut the rubber band. So basically you'll wash it out until like there's no color left. I mean there's no color, like the water runs clear. And then you'll cut the rubber band and you can see your design. Tessidy's gonna wash it out. So now you just wash it until the water gets clear. And that's you know that one is good. And then we're just gonna keep rinsing them out. You see the water changing its color. The water is getting clearer. And that's what you're trying to do to make sure there's no dye left in the shirt. The water needs to be really clear. So it's almost there. Now we wash.
So let me know which, which shirt you guys think is the best shirt. shirt. Which sock you think is the best sock. So that's our tie and dye shirt. So let us know what you think. Uh, just comment below, like, and subscribe to our video. Just click that bell to get notifications to let us know when we do our next video. I think my shirt and socks was the best. No, baby girl, it was me. No, baby girl, it's me. No, it's so me. let me know what you all think. And I will see you guys on my next video.